where you live could play a role in how sick you get from COVID-19. New research indicates a link between pollution and neighborhoods with higher rates of people getting hospitalized with the virus. CBS 4's Katie Weiss joining us live from the Swansea neighborhood in Denver. And, uh, you know, Katie, I'm thinking, as with so many things about our health, air quality makes a difference. Jim, people living here in the Swansea neighborhood are more than twice as likely to be hospitalized due to COVID-19 than other people living in more affluent areas of the city. Some people believe that air pollution sources like the I-70 expansion project that you see here behind me are a key reason why. I thought I was going to die. Elizabeth Torres Mendez tells me surviving COVID-19 was terrifying. It really has changed my life. I uh, value relationships with my family a lot more. She says in April, she, her grandfather, and all three of her children all got the virus at the same time. Elizabeth was in the hospital for a week. It felt like I had cement in my lungs. Even though I had the oxygen on, I still felt like I couldn't breathe. She and her children are doing better now, but sadly, her grandfather passed away. According to city data, Hispanic people in Denver are more than twice as likely to be hospitalized due to COVID-19 than white people living in the city. Geographically poor neighborhoods made up primarily of Hispanic residents saw more COVID hospitalizations than more affluent white neighborhoods. For example, the Swansea neighborhood had a rate of 2.9 hospitalizations per 1,000 people, but the Country Club neighborhood only had 0.3 hospitalizations per 1,000 people. Those neighborhoods with higher hospitalization rates also had consistently higher air pollution rates in the city. State data shows the air quality monitors near the Globeville, Elyria, Swansea neighborhoods measured consistently higher air pollution rates than other areas of the city over the last five years, frequently exceeding safe limits set by the EPA. I think we've known it for a long time. We've been involved in the fight with I-70 expansion, Suncor refinery, there's an asphalt factory in that community. There's a dog food factory in that community. There are a lot of comprehensive and cumulative pollution sources in that community that made this community so vulnerable, especially to respiratory diseases. A study published this spring by Harvard researchers shows just small increases in particulate matter air pollution exposure can increase a person's chance of dying from COVID-19 by 8%. Well, when we first found out about this study, it was really quite scary. It's not something... Um, that anybody wants to see. Ian Tafoya is an activist with the Colorado Latino Forum. He and more than 40 organizations asked the state to temporarily halt the I-70 expansion project through the Globeville, Elyria, Swansea neighborhoods at the height of the pandemic. But the construction didn't stop. Meanwhile, Elizabeth is still feeling the lingering effects from the virus even months later. Your lungs are pretty affected and if we could lower that um, pollution, I think it would help us a lot. Now, it is important to note that researchers with Denver Health say that air pollution is not the only risk factor. If you'd like to learn more about other risk factors and the data that we tallied for this story, just find this story later on on our website, cbsdenver.com. Reporting live in the Swansea neighborhood, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Katie, thank you.